Well, good day. This is a little video about making moving obstacles in a scratch game. So this is just a practice. It's not going to be a real game. It's just going to be a practice project. I'll shrink down this cat, and I'm going to put him over here. And I'm going to paint some grass for him to walk on. So I'll go over here, and I'll get this uh, rectangle, and I'll turn it green for grass. And I'll put it right about in the middle someplace. That looks pretty good. Click on scripts and put the grass down here. I think that's going to be pretty good. I put my cat close to the grass. That's pretty good. So the first thing you want to do with your cat is start an event. When you click the green flag, the first thing I want the cat to do is go where I just put him. Then I'm going to get the cat to move left and right. So you already probably know how to get the cat to move left and right, so you can just fast forward through this part. I'm going to do a if somebody presses the right arrow and if somebody presses the left arrow. So go to sensing, if somebody presses a key, which key, right key, if somebody presses a key, which key, left key, and we know that the X goes left and right, so I'll change the X, and we know if you go to the left arrow, that's a minus, left is minus, we'll put these things together, very good. Let's click the green flag and see if the cat can move right and left. Okay, good. The cat can move right and left. Now it's time to make our first moving obstacle. Our first moving obstacle is going to be a spinner. It's going to spin round and round and round. So I'm going to make a rectangle like this, and I'm going to choose red for my obstacle. You don't have to choose red, but I do. And I'm going to make a little pole like this, and it's going to be at least twice as big as the cat could be a little bit bigger than twice as big but something about like that and now this is important for a spinner I'm gonna center it see it's not in the center so you take these crosshairs right here and you move them right into the center and then you just let go and now the red is gonna move but I'm just gonna let go and sure enough the red moved and just leave it alone just leave it alone it jumped into the middle and go click on scripts Okay, so I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to move it over here and this thing's going to go round and round and round in a circle. So I'm going to get it to spin. So the very first thing I want it to do is I want somebody to click the green flag and I want this thing to go where I just told him to go. Go right there. And I'm going to get him to turn. Turn 15 degrees. Now watch, this is not going to work. So I click the green flag and what's going to happen? He's going to move 15 degrees and he's not going to move anymore. So I give him a click and that was it. Did you even notice what happened? I'm going to click the green flag again. I'm going to click the green flag again and again. And I'm going to see if this uh, red spinner is going to hit this cat in the face. And I say no. He's in a pretty good spot. So he's not going to move too much. I think I can move him a little closer. So this go to is now changed because I just moved him a little bit to the left. So I have new numbers now. And I'll just put these away and I'll put this one in. So I want this thing to turn round and round and round and round. So I want him to keep spinning around forever. So I'll put a spin around forever and watch what happens. So he's spinning around crazy and there's no way a cat could run through there. How's a cat going to run through there? There's not enough time to run through there. So i got to slow this thing down. So I'm going to use control weight. Oh look it says weight. So I'm going to take the weight and put it right about there, and it says wait one second. So I'm going to click the green flag, and now it's going really slow. I mean, my cat could make it through there with by dancing a jig. It's going to be so easy for that cat to get through there. So it's a little bit too easy, I think. So instead of waiting just one second, I'm going to wait for a part of a second. Maybe he's going to wait like 0 0.3. That's less than half a second, isn't it? So I'll do a... Uh, green flag and there it is moving around I think my cat can pretty easily make it through there look any cat could run through that that is so simple so maybe I want to make it even less of a weight maybe can I do 0 0.1 oh I don't know if I could do that let's let's find out I don't know here I go I'm gonna to try to make it Ooh, I sort of made it I think that was pretty good here I'm gonna try it again ready go 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 hey I made it all right, so right now the cat doesn't care if he hits red or not. Look at that. He just wrote red. Who cares? So I got to make it so the cat will pay attention. So if you hit red, you've got to say game over. So I'm going to the cat, and I'm going to say, if you're touching red, you cat, if you're touching a color, 
which color. So here's how you change the color. We know this. You click the box once. You get a little finger pointer and you point at the color you want. Look, if he's touching red, then my friend, game over. So looks is not going to say hello. He's going to say game over. Yeah, too bad for you. Yeah, I wrote it twice. There, that looks pretty good. And I'll put the if underneath the other if. And now i got to stop the game. You know, the game's got to stop, for goodness sakes. You just lost. So I'm going to do this stop all business. Now, this is not going to work very good. This is not going to work very good because the spinner is going to keep spinning for two seconds waiting for the stop all. So when I do this, let's watch. This cat's going to hit the red. I'll see if I can lose really fast. And it says game over, but the spinner still spins. And it spins for two seconds. So I want it so that when I lose, the cat stops and the spinner stops. Well, this is something new that we have never, ever done before. But it's under events. And what I can do is make the cat scream out and tell everybody else to stop. He's going to start yelling, and the grass is going to hear him, and the spinner's going to hear him, and the spinner's going to stop. So this cat's going to yell. And it's under events, and it says broadcast. He's going to send out a message. He's going to broadcast something. And the message is, message one! Okay, that's not a very good message. So I'm going to make a new message. And the message is going to be, stop! Now, it really doesn't matter what you say. You could say anything you want. You could say E-I-E-I-O. It doesn't really matter. So he's going to broadcast, stop. And everybody's going to hear him. The grass is going to hear him. And the sprite is going to hear him. The spinner is going to hear him. So I'm going to do something over here. I'm going to say, when I receive a stop, then i got to get this thing to stop spinning. I want this script to stop spinning that spinner around. So I'm going to go to control. And I'm going to get this stop. And it's not going to be stop all. It's going to be stop other scripts in this sprite. Stop other scripts in sprite and just hook it up like that. So when this cat yells stop, this spinner is going to hear him say stop. And he's going to stop him from spinning around. So that way, he's not going to spin around for two seconds. Let's find out if that works. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to get whacked by this spinner. Here, I'm going to get whacked. And look, the spinner does not keep going for two seconds. It stops right away. So that, that little broadcast thing, tell one sprite can tell another sprite what to do. Yeah, I like that. All right, so we did the first movable or moving obstacle, and it was a spinner. The next one we're going to do is kind of like a glider. It's going to glide up and down. So I'm going to make another sprite. It's going to be a red one, so it's going to be a barrier. And I'm going to make it kind of wide because it's going to smash that cat. That cat's going to get smashed. So I should center it. It's this thing up here, center. Now, I did pretty good, but not great. I think I'm going to put it right about... Just get it in the middle and let go. And the red's going to move. Let the red move. Just leave it alone. And go over to scripts and say, okay, I got that one. That one's done. So I'm going to move this over to about here. See, I'm going to give my cat a little space to hide between the two. And this thing's going to go straight down and try to smash that cat. So, the first thing I want to do is, if anybody clicks the green flag, I want this thing, this little uh, smasher, to go where I just put it. Okay, go where I just put you. Then, I want him to glide down and glide back up. And smash down and smash back up. And smash down and smash back up. So, we're going to give that a try. So, here's how you do that. Well, that's pretty easy, really. Anybody can figure this out. So... It's going to glide. I'm going to use this motion that says glide. It's going to glide up and down. It's going to glide down. So then it's going to wait. And then it's going to glide back where it was. Glide back where you were. Oops, that's not glide. There we go. Glide back where you were. And you could even add another weight if you want to. I'll just see what the weight does. You don't really have to have a second weight. So right now, there, this the this obstacle is not going to move. Look, it stays from 6 minus 32. Then it goes to 6 minus 32. Then it goes to 6 minus 32. This thing's not going anywhere. So I click the green flag, and sure enough, it's not moving. What kind of a movable obstacle is this? Not even moving. 
So I'm going to decide it's going to move straight down. So I'm going to try to guess. I'm going to watch these numbers down here, X and Y. Can you see those? So I'm right about there. I think that's pretty good. It looks like it's about, I'm looking for the Y now because the X is not going to change. The up and down is going to change. And it's going to go down to, look at that Y is about minus 85 or so. Just about. I mean, you don't have to get it perfect. So I'm going to say it's going to glide down to minus 85, and then it's going to glide right back to where it was. It was at 6 and minus 32, and it's going back to 6 and minus 32. Let's see if what it does. It goes down, and then it comes up. And then it goes down, and then it goes up. And i got to think, can my cat make it through there? I'm going to try. I'm going to go see if I can make it. I'm a little bit scared. Here we go. Let's see. And he makes it. Oh, but watch out. There's something wrong about this. What if this guy smashes me? Oh, look, he's still moving. Oh, man, I don't want that thing to keep moving. So, I got to do something. Watch. He keeps moving even though the game is over. How do you fix that? Do you remember? What do we do on this one? Oh, yeah. If I hear somebody yell stop, I got to stop the guys from moving. So, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'll go to an event. When I receive a stop, when I hear somebody yell stop, then this thing's got to stop gliding. Stop gliding already. So I'll go over to control and I'll say stop that other script in this sprite. In other words, stop him from gliding. Okay, let's see if that works. So this uh, glider is going up and down. And look, he stopped. He didn't move anymore. So that's my second movable obstacle. And now it's time for the third one. And the third one's going to be bouncing. So I had a spinner, and I had a glider that glides up and down. Now I'm going to have a bouncer that's going to bounce from the top and a bounce on the bottom. It's going to be a bouncer. So for that, I'm just going to get a ball, because balls bounce pretty good. I mean, you could get an apple, or you could get a ballerina, or whatever you want. But I'm going to get a ball, so I'm going to choose this beach ball. And there's a secret reason why I'm choosing this beach ball. And the reason is is because it's got black on the outside. It's not red. Because my game says if you touch red, you lose. But this is going to be touching black. So I've got to do something about that. So I'll say, okay, I'm using this beach ball. I'm going to put this beach ball maybe over about here and shrink him down. He looks kind of big. Pretty good. He'll start right about there someplace. So the first thing we do is what? The first thing we do is if somebody presses the green flag, Go to where I just put you. Go to where I just put you. There you go. Now I want this ball to go down and up, down and up, down and up. So i got to point him in the direction of down. Otherwise, he's not going to go falling down. I want him to fall down. Let's watch and see what happens. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Here we go. I give it a click. Uh, This ball's not moving. Uh, You didn't tell it to go anywhere. All right, so we got to make it go someplace, and I want it to go someplace forever. So it's going to keep moving forever, and I'll just choose move. I think move is going to be good. Start moving. You're already pointing down. Start moving. Let's watch and see what happens. This is going to be terrible. Uh, your ball did not bounce off the grass. Stop. Okay, so i got to get this ball to bounce off the grass. So I will say, if you're touching the grass, if you're touching... And mine grass is Sprite 2, but I hope you named yours grass. That'd be a lot better if you could just name it. Mine will not right-click right now. I don't know why mine will not right-click, but it just won't. If you're touching Sprite 2, then what's going to happen? First start moving, but if you hit Sprite 2, you should turn around. You should turn around and go the other way. So that's a motion, and I'm going to make him turn, but not 15 degrees. To turn all the way around and start going the other way is 180 degrees. I want you to go 180 degrees. If you're hitting Sprite 2, turn around. Let's see if it works. He hits it. Oh, but look, now he's stuck at the top. He didn't bounce off the top. So we got to do something about that. And there's lots of ways to do it. I know, I know. There's lots of ways to do it. But I'm doing it this way. I'll say, if you're touching the edge, yeah, I know. There's a better way to do it. I know. Don't worry. Then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it just like before. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. And I'm going to put that if under there. Now, if you do not have a ball, 
If you have a ballerina or cheese puff bowl, it may not turn very well. Because, you know, round things, they bounce pretty well. But, uh, you know, if you're trying to bounce a puppy up and down, that's not going to work very good. So here's the bad thing about this. Um, this ball is not red. It's black. And when the cat hits the ball, he's going to hit the black. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to look at this beach ball's costume. And I'm going to very carefully, and I mean carefully, I'm going to get the red. I'm on red. And I'm going to get the bucket. And I'm going to very, very carefully point, not in the middle. No, no, no. I'm going to point at this black outside. I'm going to make it red. Ooh, Mr. Roshenko. Good job. All right, so let's see if this thing works. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. I think this ball is going to keep moving up and down, up and down, even though the game is over. Let's find out. So here I go. The game is over, but the ball keeps bouncing. Okay, this is terrible. Do you remember how to fix that? Do you remember? Okay. So we have to say, when I receive a stop, I want this ball to quit doing up and down, bouncing all over the place. This script over here has to stop. So I'm going to control and I'm going to stop and I'm going to say other scripts in the sprite must stop. All right, let's see if this thing works. I wonder if I can even get through here. So I'm going to try to sneak through. Who knows? I might be a, lo might be a loser here. I try to get through. Oh, the ball got me. Darn. Okay, let's try it again. You gotta try this stuff, you know? So I'm gonna say, oh, look out, look out, look out. Okay, go, 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 go. Stop, look out, look out, look out. Careful, careful. And go, go, go! Hey, look at that. How can you make this ball go faster up and down? Do you know how to make it go faster? Well, instead of moving 10 for the beach ball, make it move faster. Make it move like, uh, try 25. Who knows? You just gotta try this stuff out. Oh my gosh, look at that. That thing's bouncing like crazy. Well, here are three basic movable obstacles. The moving obstacle is the spinner, this glider. So I have a spinner and a glider and a bouncer. This is our practice. You can save it as practice. And we're getting ready to make the tunnel game. That's about all there is to it.